State Building is a is a huge part of the the Percy Jackson series. This is the modern day Mount Olympus. So for our show to start in New York, quest across the country, and come back to the modern day Mount Olympus and sing our songs, it feels really fitting. Percy to me is so perfectly cool and absolutely not cool. And it's so fun to be on Broadway with a character that I feel like we've protected from the beginning to make him true and authentic and a new kind of superhero that people can root for and not the typical guy who is singing his face off and getting all the girls as he goes along. Uh, this is a boy stumbling through his life trying to save his mom uh, and realizing his fullest potential and power by the end of the show. Back your best mercy now. fun um, story and it's a really unique musical where like you know you're seeing so many different types of people on stage and the story centers around someone who has ADHD and dyslexia but also like we like are amazing fighters and there's stage combat going on on stage and there's monster and it's like it kind of has everything and I I haven't seen a show like this before and so it's gonna be a really unique experience for these first timers yeah I think I'm really excited for the visibility and the representation we have in the cast you know half of of our cast is um, people of color and then the other half are also queer and most of them overlap and so for a lot of these people coming to see the show for the first time it's gonna be their first time seeing someone like them on stage it's gonna be their first time seeing someone that they know on stage who who reminds them of their cousin of their family members of their friends and to me that's kind of like my biggest biggest thing I am a huge huge advocate for representation especially in our musical theater community and so I hope that it gives them permission I hope it allows them to feel empowered and I hope that they can then see that like hey this isn't just for like the normal people anymore like the weird ones are getting a show too and i hope that empowers them to keep moving forward if this is something that they want to do even when it was not on broadway we knew that this piece would be a lot of exposure um, to theater in general for kids and that has been really really exciting and seeing kids um uh see what's possible on stage and open their their brains and their hearts and their creativity um uh so it's it's opening it on Broadway and bringing that audience to Broadway feels like a continuation of something that's been a sort of essential from the very beginning. Yeah, I love seeing um, all ages uh, at this show. It's it's really a very opening or a welcoming show, I should say. Um, but I also love seeing young boys. I feel like that's a, a show that that they can think, oh, theater is cool. Smart girls are cool. Uh, you know, adventure in this way, this kind of storytelling uh, where we find empathy in theater is cool. And I, I think that is really special and unique with our piece. Bring on the monsters, bring on the monsters, bring on the real world. Bring on the monsters, bring on the real world. Every, every night we've been getting somebody at the stage door with their mom and there's some little kid and this is his first Broadway show. That means a huge, huge deal to me because uh, I remember when I was going to see like touring productions when they come to my town and I would just stare. I remember every show I ever saw. I remember who was in it. And so to fulfill that role for some kid coming to the show for the first time, coming to the theater for the first time is wonderful. It's a great feeling. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing because I remember me being a little girl and going out to see different shows. Unfortunately, they weren't touring shows. They were just at like the college, the that's local true, college. Yeah, <laughs> but just to have that influence and spark that. And I kind of joke every now and then before the show and say, let's change some lives. But you actually are changing lives whenever we get out there. So it's, it's, it's amazing to be a part of that for somebody. As you know, devotees of the musical theater like there's that concept right where a character when they can't say anything else then they start to sing and I think that you know our rock score and the epicness of this story just lend themselves so well to the musical theater form and so yeah I think like whether you're a fan of the books or a fan of musical theater you're gonna get a lot out of it.
Yeah, we also have a really strong message, um, a strong message of being strong. So, uh, you know, I hope that, I think we all hope that people come out of this show feeling very empowered and feeling like they can go out into the world and do something big, bigger than life. Oh, I'm never gonna want to have it easy. I make mistakes for my own.